There are a lot of anime out there that have first episodes opening on action side events to establish the story. Uh, looking at Trigun, Psychopath, Soul Eater, any number of things, and it's not even limited to just this form of media. And opening to an action scene generally works fairly well to grab some interest in the first few minutes. Uh, if you mix this with some good personality, things like maybe interesting scenery, and make sure the action is done well, you're probably going to keep the interest level high. This is exactly the type of formula Double Decker Duggan Krill. I'm, that name gets me every time. I was trying really hard not to laugh there just because it's, it, it's a very distinct name, which fits with how distinct the show ends up being. But we'll get into that. This, it's what we're here for, uh, first impressions. It's actually an anime buddy cop series that takes its own very unique spin on the kind of rookie to veteran partnership situation. But some of the very first shots show an interesting mix of this kind of old school and futuristic um, take on things. So it's like the mix of like, here's an old looking car, but with futuristic parts kind of a thing, as you'll see by the pictures I put on screen. I don't know why I went so hard into trying to describe that when there's a picture in front of you, but <sighs> some of the extreme detail and designs had me pausing to gawk super early on. I mean, I was pausing and just like, just really taking in all the detail uh, it's off the charts from bits of glass on the floor to scratches and dings on sharp edges to beautiful lighting and i'm just talking about one shot that i was staring at for probably a good couple minutes the detail extends outside of the backgrounds and characters as well with some very nice small hints to keep everything feeling natural uh, in the first scene a generic villain throws some coins that save him from a bullet and we actually see him pick them up beforehand, just a, a quick shot as he's standing up and just, it almost looks like he's just kind of standing up and you see him kind of palm and grab him. So it's a very nice detail there. And later on when Kirill, the main character, is climbing up to a ledge, we actually see him do it. No cuts on the top with him already grabbed onto it kind of stuff that is usually pulled. But it even had an extra detail of him like kind of jumping up and hitting the wall to boost himself a little bit. So they actually showed the entire motion of it. There's small details like those throughout that don't really draw any attention, but just make everything feel more real and help it flow very naturally. And this is also helped by some killer transitions. Oh my god, for for me, a video editing nerd, these trends, I was, mm, I would marry the transitions. Uh, one, for example, is when Kirill walks away from a close-up and his hat covers the entire screen for a second. Then when it's no longer blocking the shot, we see it's changed behind that and then we see the stop, the um, next shot starting to starting to start. Yes, starting uh, as his hat is actually still moving down the screen. So it's just these very nice natural transitions. The art does have that uh, 3D blend that many people don't like at points, but it's the most well blended that I've seen as of yet. Uh, this also lets the camera have much more freedom to move around as we get some extra depth into shots. Uh, and kind of gets some angles we normally wouldn't see. It does stand out somewhat from the usual 2D, uh, but it's nothing to really complain about, and that is probably one of the factors that lets them put so much detail into these other areas as well. And again, going back to the shots for a second, it allows for a bit of a more action movie style framing to some scenes, uh, which is something that we don't get to see very much. The character designs fall in line with the art, uh, there's no flat clothes, there are multiple layered items to give it more feel, and the hair is actually all less ridiculous anime and more real world style styles represented in anime with lots of depth and layering to them. Uh, Kirill's clothing is a bit more out there compared to everyone else's, um, it's just more strange, I guess kind of would be considered maybe more of a typical futuristic design, whereas not everyone else's really is. Uh, and it feels just like it's trying to stand out too much, but it's really nothing egregious compared to some of the usual spot the protagonist offenders. Um, let's stick with characters for a second, uh, but move on to the personalities and development. The first main character that we see is Doug, finally names that I can't mess up. And he comes off as along the more stoic detective trope, but not fully. We get some tinges of fire when he's fighting, and his first interactions with Kirill show some humor to him as well. It's not over the top, but you're gonna hear me say I'll say this a lot for this video. It's very real. Uh, Kirill is another of the I'm gonna be the number one blank characters, but not in the typical way. He feels a lot less pure or wholesome than the usual types do, uh, with his desires being played more for comedy than drama so far. Um, uh, his whole stick is that he wants to be like the 
hero of the police kind of a thing. He wants to end up in that situation where he you know, saves the day and becomes famous and well known, but it's not played off as like a pure, like, I want to do it to help people. It's just for the fact of being famous is, is what it comes off as. There's also hints of comedic anger and just general assholery in dialogue that makes him come off as more rounded overall. He dreams about being number one but doesn't actually act on it in any way whatsoever. Uh, he doesn't want to help anyone on his day off, he owes a guy he's jealous of money, again it's just a very realistic feel. He, he's just a real guy out there dreaming of being the hero but not doing it as you know, many people tend to do. What he does bring to the table hardcore is the comedy, uh, whether it's facial expressions, dialogue, situational stuff. He hits it all very well and I laughed more at this than some pure comedies. If anything, it happens a bit too much for my taste with many comic relief moments, uh, but I often prefer darker tones and most of it went to developing the personality of the overall show and that's what we really see through this first episode is a distinct personality. Um, from the very jazz focused background, the contradiction narrations, uh, comedy, the cutaways to different styles, the almost action movie framing at times, it sets itself apart as an overall piece very fast. To fit in all this personality, it skipped a bit on the background, but not in a detrimental way. It just didn't waste time going into things right off the bat. Uh, for example, Kirill ends up taking a deceased detective spot on his new team, but it doesn't jump into how much they all miss their old partner in the first episode. Now that could come up, but probably when it's more relevant. Uh, there are some other instances of this, but none of them come off as confusing and mostly keep up some of the intrigue. His quick rise to his new position feels somewhat fast for the pacing and the situation that led him to it is, it requires a little bit of looking the other way, which sucks since most everything else was spot on, uh, but that's some more first episode woes. You know, they have to get to the meat and potatoes of the plot to fit everything into the episodes they are allotted. And again, this is just something that we see in a lot of series, so it's nothing out of the ordinary when it really comes down to it. As for the audio, the voice acting, which I watched the dub, was spot on. The lines came off as someone actually saying them, except for Doug's catchphrase just because it's so fucking cheesy. Uh, the sound effects were all very clean and clear, and the soundtrack was another huge contributor for the personality. It's a very jazz-based sound overall, and in the fight scenes it transitions and rises up to more of these heroic orchestral tones that we traditionally hear of, think my hero soundtrack, but it keeps the jazz instruments and rhythms as the focus, creating this very distinct and very personal feeling sound, like very personal to this specific series. Uh, it all transitions well and adds to what the scene wants you to feel. Overall, Double Decker, I can't say the name, Double Decker, Doug, and Kirill comes off its first episode super strong for me. Uh, it was a bit heavy handed on the comic relief during dramatic moments, uh, but even then those moments were still capped off satisfyingly. And it's downright gorgeous. You, you know in cooking shows, the, the look that the chef, or they taste their food and they do that look to the side and eyes closed. That's what, that's what I did to the visuals of this show. It's fucking beautiful. It is legitimately one of the most detailed and lively anime I've seen with some distinct personality and a very realistic feel. Now, this one is actually older than I generally go for this series and I actually found it because it's getting some extra episodes. Uh, but the main series is actually over a year old now. Uh, but that just means I can go watch it all when I'm done with this video. And it's probably gonna end up being a point of discussion on the channel at some point if it keeps up what it started past episode one.